Welcome back, my foolish mortals, to our Haunted Mansion build for our spooky Halloween build this year. We are building an inspired version of the Disneyland Haunted Mansion, and in today's episode, we are going to build a spooky tomb and intricate walkways, sundials, and cupolas and fireplaces. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to our Haunted Mansion build here. And take a look at that superstructure over there. Isn't that looking absolutely amazing? Let me know how you guys are liking it so far. And uh, if you, of course, if you guys have any other ideas on how to spruce it up or make it look even better, definitely let me know. So let's get into it here. And there's a few things I want to talk about before we uh, get started. And that is the birch ceiling up here. So this acts as our second story balcony, you know, material decking. I was wondering, what are you guys' thoughts on doing it up here also as the roof for the second story's, you know, roof of the balcony going along up here. So, you know, we replace these blocks up here with the spruce, or not spruce, but um, the birch. So definitely let me know what you guys think of that. So in our last episode, of course, we built this side of the house, got all those nice windows on there and our back porch. So looking super snazzy. And like we were talking about in the previous episodes, this isn't so much like a full recreation of the Disneyland one, but Kind of an inspired version of it and what if it would look like if it was in a real setting maybe people really live there but there might be a spooky uh happenings going on inside so that's kind of our idea and also up here i added these two blocks up here so what i've done is i just gone bam bam boom boom and uh, yeah, just a small little extra detail in that center right there. And I think that looks pretty cool. All right, so this is where we're going to work now. And I've laid it out a little bit just because I was having some trouble kind of finding how to fit everything together. So I've got a few things laid out. And let's go into our magical inventory and get out our bricks. There we go. Okay, let's start with our fireplaces. And so from this corner where we have this half slab that goes all the way around the perimeter of the house. So that's actually on the uh, the wall that goes all the way to the ground, not the crown molding. So it's on this block here, we're going to count out one, two, three. And then on that fourth block there, we're going to place these two blocks like so. And I think we're going to go up about four blocks. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's just get a quick little look from the ground. Hmm, what do you think? Mm, I think we need to go up at least six, but let's 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 go five and go from there and let's see how that looks. I think six might be the end up our end up uh, dimension, but I think that'll work for now. So let's do that over here. There we go. So yeah, we're just getting things done today. We have a lot to build actually. We got a lot to build, and then let's uh, top it off with some of that. That looks good. Let's stick with five. Um, so we need to finish up our fireplaces, then we'll work on our cupola, or whatever they call it. And uh, once we get that done, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, awesome. Oops, no, 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 there we go. Uh, once we do that, we're gonna build the spooky tomb that is actually the exit of the Haunted Mansion ride at Disneyland. But in our uh, little uh, universe here, it is actually an escape tunnel from the house because the owner is a pirate. All right, so there we go. I like it. All right, let's work on the cupola. So the cupola's dimensions are from these blocks, so it makes up a square. So this is from here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on the eighth block, put a block there. And then right here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So seven across and eleven across there. Perfect. All right, so let's start to uh, get some detail going in here. There we go. So bring this all the way across here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So now we're going to kind of line up our windows here. So of course in the Disneyland's cupola, I think it's a cupola, I'm going to use that for now, but um, it's more rounded. But in the Lidecker house that we're also using for inspiration, that was the original inspiration for the Disneyland one also, it's more squared, but we're gonna kind of take a, another approach and do a little bit of our own design here where we're going to have it mostly square because, you know, of course, we're in the Minecraft realm and uh, everything's square. Um, but we're going to maybe kind of round it just a small bit by maybe taking out this pillar here, but we'll see once we get there. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, awesome. Uh, we might bring it down a little bit lower, but we're just gonna kind of see how it looks from a distance. You know, we don't want it to be too tall, too overwhelming, but um, we'll work on it. I think that might be a little much, so let's bring it back down to seven. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think seven might be a better choice. 
but we'll just continue that along here. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the haunted mansions throughout the different parks in the world. So the first haunted mansion, of course, was the Disneyland Haunted Mansion, and it opened in 1969, I believe it was in August. And so that was the first haunted mansion to open in any of the Disney parks. So soon after, let me just get a quick look from a distance. Yeah, I like that so far. All right, so soon after, the next one opened with the park opening of the Disney World Resort. So in Disney World, I think that one opened in 70, 71, 71. And um, so in 71, that opened with the entire, uh, you know, the entire park. So that actually was an opening day attraction for Disney World. And then not until 1983, actually, the next one opened in Tokyo. So that one opened with Tokyo Disneyland. And then there would be, now with this, the next two we're gonna talk about, it's a little bit different because the Phantom Manor, which opened in Paris, does not resemble anything of the haunted mansions that you can find in Tokyo, Orlando, or Anaheim. It actually has its own kind of theme to it. It actually has a real story, which we've talked many times in this series about the haunted mansion not having a theme, or I'm not having a kind of an overarching, you know, story that you kind of follow, but more of an experience of going through a spooky uh, retirement home for ghosts. So. The Paris mansion actually has a theme that is a bride and um, she has, uh, you know, her groom, you know, there was a whole story about her father, which ties into the Thunder Mountain in Paris and how, you know, he didn't approve of the of the marriage and all the whole thing. And I think eventually, I think he even killed the groom at some point. Oh yeah, that's looking really awesome. But I think I'm gonna go over here I think this is the block we're going to remove. I think we're going to remove that block. Um, so I think, you know, it's been a long time since I read about the uh, about this story, but I think that's how that went. Um, so you go through the mansion, and um, so it's a phantom manor, and I believe the, um, the, uh, the father of the bride is now kind of a phantom, and he haunts the haunted mansion or the phantom manor. Oh, yeah, that looks way better. Yeah, what do you guys think? Which way did you like better? The previous version would be A, the next version would be B. So let me know, A or B, which one did you like better? I I like B, I like B, but if you guys like A, I'll, I'll do it. And you know, if we want to even make it a little more round, we could also take this pillar here and push it out a little bit. All right, so let's hit on the interior here and let's add a little bit of glass. So th did I add it? Yes, there it is. My microphone was covering up that side of my hot bar. All right, so let's just get this going. But uh, like I was saying, um, that's the story there. And the Haunted Mansion there is much scarier. The, um, the graveyard, you know, has a lot of more spooky characters, less of that Mark Davis kind of, uh, you know, mischievous, kind of uh, funny, kind of scary design that he went with, with the graveyard in the other versions of Haunted Mansion. Now, the next one we're gonna talk about a little bit is the Mystic Manor. Now, this isn't so much you know, a ghost, you know, a house of ghosts or something along those lines. It's um, more of kind of magic. Now, from what I've been told, the um, where this one was built was Hong Kong. Now, it's I, I, I get conflicting stories because, of course, I don't I've never, you know, been to China or, you know, Hong Kong, but they have different, you know, cultures when it comes to scary and ghosts and different things. And um, so they didn't want to have a ghost themed mansion there. They wanted to try something different. Um, so I get like, lots of different like conflicting things like, you know, that they don't like ghosts, you know, in those countries. That's not something that they like. But then the haunted man but then the park also has a lot of halloween stuff that's actually quite scary so i don't know what to believe maybe hopefully i have a scar scriber out there in one of those countries and it can kind of fill me in on these cultural differences and how some people you know tell me one thing and another thing and i don't know what to believe but anyway you still have an amazing ride there called mystic manor and you get in a vehicle that's trackless and you kind of go through this mansion about uh explorer and he gets a lot of artifacts from all over the world and he gets a new one which is kind of like a pandora's box and it opens and it turns all of these items throughout his mansion alive and uh, so you go through the mansion as suits of armor and tiki gods and 
um, cannons and like suits of armor come, you know, attacking you and different things like that. It's really, really cool. Um, I've seen a video of it. Of course, I haven't, I haven't been there, but um, yeah, look at that cupola up there looking super snazzy. So those are the haunted mansions of the, uh, the Disney Empire. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about Disney Worlds and Tokyo's in just a moment. But uh, let me uh, catch my breath here and I'll be right back. Ooh, spooky. All right. So uh, let's fly over here and work on the front path of the house. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to bring this out nine blocks. So we're going to bring that out nine blocks here. And there we go. We're going to bring that out to there. So on the ninth block right here, we are going to kind of bring this across here like so. And this is five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And that should line up perfect so there we go and then from this block once we cross that then that's six blocks out there so what we're doing here is we're just trying to create a little bit of a front kind of gathering area in front of the house now in the uh the ride version of this house this would be where the lines kind of go so if you were to have a fast pass back in the day when they used to use fast passes so now they only use them for the haunted mansion holiday which they don't even do that anymore but you would kind of go up the stairs right here and then if you didn't, you would continue to the overflow queue around there. And then that line wraps up over here where you wait to go inside the mansion at the side door there, which we don't have on this house because this house wouldn't have that door because it's not a ride. There we go. And uh, then, of course, on this section we're building right here would be where the handicap queue. So this is me. Now, if you've ever been there in a wheelchair or something, you know if you're in a wheelchair, you have to wait a long time for the ride. People always say, oh, you get to cut the, the line. Yeah, no. Um, you, I've seen people go on the ride twice by the time we've waited to go on once. You wait here a long, long time. So I'm just going to beef up this section right here just a little bit there. There we go. And I'm just going to go over here too. Awesome. Okay, yeah, that looks good. See, look at that. That front porch looks amazing. Look at that. I love that. It looks great. But um, yeah, so we're going to work on something else a little bit over here now. We're going to work on our tomb. So let's come down here, the spooky little jungle area right here. And uh, let's back up here a little bit. So this is the exit of the ride at the one in Disneyland. But in our design, we're using more of the inspiration from the original story that was pitched for the Haunted Mansion, where it was, you know, a sea captain and his bride, and uh, he was a pirate. So this was his way of escaping the Haunted Mansion, if there were to be, you know, a raid on it, I guess. Uh, let me get out one more block from our magical inventory. There we go. Okay, so this is kind of... I don't have any real... Real... Uh, pre-built ideas here so let me just kind of play around with it for a second and uh, kind of find a point where we want to go so let's go up to about about there or so okay so um, I wanted to talk a little bit about Disney World Haunted Mansion and uh, so I haven't been on that one in quite some time so I haven't been at that park since I believe 1998 maybe so it's been quite some time but they've uh, recently done some renovations in the last few years to uh, create some new effects there so it's actually quite a bit different than uh, Disneyland's Haunted Mansion they have a few other effects there their quarter of portraits if I remember correctly is actually on the ride um, so you can definitely uh, correct me if I'm wrong there because it's been quite some time since I was um, last there and then they have a kind of a library scene and the uh, effects that they did add in the renovation were pretty cool. There's some uh, inside the stretching room, the ghost host, he'll, uh, his voice can kind of travel throughout the room using some really cool new audio designs. And uh, if you stay long enough inside the stretching room, you can hear the gargoyles, which hold like the kind of the candles up that lit up, light up the room. Uh, you can hear them kind of like making like a slight little laughter. So there's some, there's some cool little differences at the one in Disney World. Of course, the big difference would be the outside of the attraction. And that is the kind of a gothic manor style house. And uh, what's interesting about all the Haunted Mansions actually is that they're all in different lands within all the Disney parks. So, you know, of course, Disneyland's is in New Orleans Square. Disney World's is in Liberty Square. Tokyo's is actually in Fantasyland, which is just completely odd. But um, I'm gonna actually extend this out just a little bit more. And then um, Paris is in Frontierland. And then the Mystic Manor is in, 
And I com I just completely forgot what it was. What is Mystic Manor's uh, mansion? And I, I forgot. It's a known, it's a kind of a subland of Adventureland, I believe. I don't think it's actually considered in Adventureland. I believe it's a subland um, of Adventureland. But uh, I'll have to remember. I'll have to remember. It's something like I, I just can't quite remember what it is. But look at our cool little tomb here. I love it. I love that. I like it. Um, there's a few changes I want to make a little bit. Um, go like that. Mm, what I was trying to do was kind of break up this kind of long curve here, but I don't know. I kind of like it, I think. Let me back up just a little bit. Ooh, it's kind of spooky. It's kind of spooky, but I think what I'm going to do is knock off that section there and just extend that up a little. No, that kind of loses the character a little bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back it off a little bit and move it back over here. There's just something else I want to add here, but I don't know what. Let me bring this over here to that point. Um, for Tokyo's version of the Haunted Mansion, now that's one that, I've, that I don't know a lot of the differences. Now, Tokyo and Disneyland are the only Haunted Mansions that have the holiday overlay that goes in them that's themed to Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, I do know the differences between that one. Um, there's quite a few more animatronics of Jack and Sally throughout the attraction. Um, Tokyo always kind of does things uh, a little more extravagant sometimes, and uh, so their, their attraction's a little bit, um, I believe, I've been told, better than Disneyland's, that they have some extra, you know, effects and audio animatronics in there. I don't know, you know what? I don't know, just kind of playing with this and I can't quite find the exact way I want to do that, so I'm going to back off here, and I'm going to replace that block there. And then let's see, go over here, go over here. Actually, what if I just do this? Yeah, I like that. There we go. Let's just do that. I like that. I like that. It's 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 creepy. It's creepy. It's got like a nice kind of flow to it, and it looks kind of like a like a creepy grip, creepy grip. There we go. Awesome. Okay, now let's kind of uh, carve out the interior just a little bit. So my thought is to kind of create uh, a little chamber in here. So this is maybe where maybe a couple coffins lie. And then in the back here, there will be a gate. And the gate will be closed, but it leads to a tunnel which will connect into the house. Doesn't that sound spooky? I think it sounds pretty spooky. All right, so give me a couple minutes. Let me uh, kind of carve out this room and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And I'm trying to decide if the little cupola up there is maybe a little too tall. We may bring it down a little bit. So give me some feedback on what you think, if that's just maybe a little bit too tall, if we want to maybe lower it, maybe a block or two. But let's take a look at our creepy crypt and let's add just a little more light to our area. And as you can see, it's just a teeny bit higher. So what I've done is I've taken the roof and moved it up one block. That was what we needed to make it look a little bit better. At the time, you know, I was kind of like, what do we need to do? I can't figure it out. But um, that was what we needed. We just needed to move it up one. So uh, we just took the these block here and just moved up one. And as you can see, look at this super awesome detail throughout here. And these nice little gates, a little altar in the middle. And uh, look at these coffins, a little red flower. Oh my gosh, this is so spooky. And then there's one that's kind of barred off and you wonder why, why has that been barred off? And where does this really scary tunnel lead to? Well, you're gonna have to wait and find out when we do our official tour on Halloween. So before we head out for the day, I want to show you guys our last thing here. So I finished up the path. Now I wanted to just give you guys a brief idea of how to make the path to start with. And then I just kind of finished a little loop around here. So if you're building this on your own here, you know, just, you know, if your train might be a little different than mine, just uh, move it around and kind of swirl it around as, as you uh, please. And um, of course, uh, this world will be up for download when we do the tour on Halloween. So then you can kind of get in here and see all the, uh, the intricate little details and stuff like that. But um, we got lots to do and I wanted to keep kind of moving on. All right, so let's make a sundial. And this is gonna be really cool. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to surround two pillars like so, like that with our stairs. Now we're gonna take out some string and then we're gonna place one on either of those and then we're gonna put two pieces of string there. So two there, one, two there, and one and two more like so that connects like there. And then we're going to surround 
that with a little bit of white carpet. Now it'd be awesome if we could have used snow, but unfortunately that is not gonna happen. All right, and there we go. We now have the little sundial that lives in front of the Haunted Mansion and uh, looking super awesome. And I've got a lot of landscaping to do, a lot of landscaping. Now I'm going to uh, try to get this all done by Halloween and uh, we're running out of days, but uh, all right guys and i think that's it we've kind of finished up a good portion of the place um and i think the landscaping i'll do mostly off camera and i hope you've enjoyed our building here and definitely definitely let me know how excited you are for our halloween tour so until next time this has been good times with scar and i always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and if you believe the video deserved a rating that would be much appreciated and until next time we'll See you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Animation piece. And uh, that's what Walt thought he could do within Disneyland with audio animatronics. And uh, he went on from the Jungle Cruise. He created, you know, the pole where the, uh, where the rhino is trying to poke him in the butt. <laughs> yeah, different things like that. Um, then he would go on, of course, with Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion and...